And with that, delegates, let us continue. His journey began when he was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa in his early 30s. This degenerative disease of the retina causes gradual and complete loss of sight. Today, his story is chronicled in People magazine, and he is one of a few people in the United States to have a bionic eye. The Argus II retinal prosthesis device has allowed him to see for the first time in over 30 years. Delegates, please give a huge hero's welcome to Larry Hester. Center me up. All right. Here he is. All right. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Oh, this is incredible. Thank you very much. And I appreciate the time to be with you. It's good. I want to tell you about a journey. A journey that started with me over... 35 years ago, at the age of 33, I was having a lot of trouble seeing. My vision was closing in on me. I didn't know what was going on. So I went to the Duke Eye Center and spent three days there being tested. And after three days, the doctor called me in his office, my wife and I, Jerry and I, and he said, Mr. Hester, he said, I want you to know you have an eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's a deterioration of the cells in the retina. We don't know what causes it. There's no cure for it. Frankly, there's nothing we can do about it. And oh, by the way, you will go blind. It was stunning. My wife and I sat there in stunned silence. The doctor closed his file and said, I'll give you a few minutes, and <clears throat> probably we needed more than a few minutes. Finally, my wife said to me, she said, Larry, together we can do this. That's unconditional love, and she didn't sign up for that. Bless her heart, and she's been at my side the whole time, never complaining how fortunate I am. And I told her, okay, let's move forward. I'll try to keep things as normal as possible. So we moved on. But it was still a shock. I'd been a football player in college, and I was just starting my career, and I had a son, 10, and a daughter, 5, and what's going to happen here? What, what, what? How can I deal with this? But with my wife's support, we moved on, and I resolved it is not going to be what I don't have but what I do have, and what I do have, yes. What I do have is a strong faith in God. I have a family that is incredibly, yes. I have a family that is so supportive, a son and his family, a daughter and her family, and my friends and my church friends, and we moved forward. Was it easy? Sometimes not, but we went through life. I coached football. I continued in the tire business. Fortunately for me, I had a family-owned tire business, and my brother was with me. Well, let me tell you, fast forward 30 years, my wife has a newsletter from the Foundation Fighting Blindness, and it says, 
that the FDA has approved for commercial use a device called a retinal prosthesis, the Argus II, or commonly referred to as the bionic eye. And it is designed for somebody with retinitis pigmentosa. It's made by a company in California called Second Sight Medical Products. I called the company the next day, couldn't wait to get Gary on the phone, the customer, uh, director of customer assistance, and he told me, yes, you might be a candidate, and yes, I was. So I finally made it to the Duke Eye Center. They told me that would be the place I would go, and, and Dr. Paul Hahn would be my surgeon. There were basically three criteria. You had to be at least 25. Woo, I made it. <laughs> you had to have a help, healthy optic nerve, and you had very little or no light perception. So, it was determined that I was going to have the surgery. So Dr. Hahn advised me, he said, now, don't get your hopes up too much. Don't have your expectations up too high. You won't be able to drive a car. You won't be able to read a book. But you will have some enhanced light. And what is it going to be about? It's going to be about this device. Here is the microchip, and it has a ring with electronics on it. Understand it only has 60 electrodes and 60 pixels. Not much. But when you've been in the dark for a long time, a little light is great. Here's what it looks like, the device actually there implanted. Here's diseased. This is a diseased retina. The spots are the RP. That's the retinitis pigmentosa. Don't know what causes it. They still don't know what causes it. So the surgery went well. That should be Dr. Hahn actually doing the surgery on me. It lasted four hours, and I went home the same day. Shortly thereafter, a couple of three weeks of healing, came time to actually turn on the device. Everybody ready? Okay. So three, two, one. Start stimulation. Yes. Can you see? Oh my goodness. Wow. Can you what see, Larry? Yes. Oh my goodness. Can I give him a kiss? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Awesome. I'm standing here now with cold chills. I'll never forget that moment. It was like, wow, I can't believe this. I, I was, why? What, what's the big deal? Just, you, what do you do? You see a few lights. Well, what I see is an artificial light. What can I see? I can see a plate. I can find my cup. I can find my glass. I can see where a window is. I can see where a door is. Maybe the sidewalk and the grass. I can also see 
fireworks, Christmas tree lights, <laughs> candlelight, and here's one. My son-in-law takes a string of white Christmas tree lights and wraps around a basketball hoop, and at night he turns that, those lights on, and I can shoot basketball hoops with my grandchildren. <laughs> and for once, I can reach up and touch my wife's face without poking her in the eye. And here's the best part of all of it. I get to see my granddaughter. And I have three more granddaughters that are just as sweet as that one. They're awesome. Second Sight Medical Products and the Duke Eye Center have partnered to become a beacon to the nation and to the world that they have cutting-edge technology and brilliant eye surgeons, and each of their teams are committed and dedicated to the best eye care and research in the world. Now, each of you have an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life. And by making a difference, you will make their lives better. I am wishing you all the best, and thank you for sharing your time with me. Awesome. Thank awesome you. job. Thank you. Thank One you. more time. <laughs> right this way. Thank you, sir.